Hey, thanks for coming along on this episode of Dirt and Rocks. Today, we are actually getting back out into the world and attempting to do a grading job. We delivered a bunch of gravel last year to a customer to build a shop. It turned out really nice, um, but there's some spots in front of the shop that are holding water, and most of it's due to a little bit of a ridge over on the left side of the door. Um, a lot of that is caused by the fact that when they poured the slab, the concrete trucks washed out right there, kind of built it up a little bit and is preventing the area from draining out. And then also it needs a little bit of a V cut in there just to make sure all the water flows out. We're gonna run out there with a KX040 and take care of that. I've got the 36 inch grading bucket and I've got my 48 inch tilt bucket. Um, I'm taking the grading bucket cause it's a little heavier duty and I don't wanna tear up the, uh, the tilt bucket by trying to break out concrete. Um, you know, it's just, it's really not uh, meant for that. So I just, I wanna make sure that we're not doing any damage to our stuff, trying to get his stuff taken care of. It's overcast today, but I think we're gonna be all right. Um, hopefully it's not gonna rain too much if it does at all. Everything's already loaded up with the F-250 and our 20 foot gooseneck trailer. Uh, it's kind of tight quarters over there. So I don't wanna take a big truck or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna head over to the job site, get unloaded get a look at the lay of the land and see if we can get this drainage problem solved. Okay, well we made it to the job site and going to be working right over here so this is this is the area that we're the most concerned with right up in here uh, you can see right here where this concrete's kind of piled up so that needs to come out and then essentially what we want to do is take this whole little ridge right here out and just make it where water will drain off so it's not too bad really just needs a little bit of grading. The only thing that makes this a challenge is number one, the concrete, and then number two, we hauled all the gravel out here. And so we brought out railroad ballast and we brought out a lot of wash stone um, and some crusher runs. So there's gonna be a mix of different types of gravel. So it just kind of depends on what we hit. So other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and get unloaded. We got rain coming in. Hopefully we'll be able to beat it. If not, we'll just have to wait it out. Fortunately, even if it rains on us, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's see what we can do about making this work. Really, it's just, it's this concrete that's most of the problem. So I'm gonna start off by just trying to break it out real gentle-like. And then once we get that done, I'm thinking I'm gonna strip the gravel back and um, that way we can reuse it. And then once the gravel's stripped out of the way, kind of regrade it and then re-gravel it. That's the idea anyway, but I really don't have any idea how thick this concrete is. So, we're just gonna have to kind of work around it. Oh wow, I think I just got really, really lucky. That came out really, really well. Start setting some of this over here to the side. Okay. 
I'll try to get it into some smaller pieces. I know it's probably easier to get it in big chunks, but I like it. I like getting it into pieces that'll actually go up into the bucket. And then I don't really have to worry about it slipping and sliding. For me, it's just a little easier to handle. That pretty much is all of it. Just this little bit right over here. chunk right there. Let's see, I gotta find a place to put this stuff where you can scoop it up with a tractor, but it's not gonna really just be right in the way. That actually went a lot better than I was expecting. Oh, you know what? It would be way better for me to put it in that ditch down there. There's a there's a ditch that's washing out right over here. So we'll just put it right there. Every little bit will help. I can't remember how much gravel we brought here between the ballast and the crusher run, wash stone for the retaining wall. I bet it had to be close to 150 tons. It was a lot. All right, so next thing is we're just gonna strip out the gravel so we can attempt to reuse as much of it as possible. It's still pretty wet right in here. All right, well, as you can see, we did not really have that much luck avoided the rain. So far, it's not too bad, though. It's not bad enough to get me to quit. Well, that could change in five minutes, but yeah, here we are.
I'm stripping this fairly wide just so that we can get get it to drain, but it won't be like a big dip or anything or a big V. I just kind of want it to be gentle. I can feel the pitch change as I'm tracking. Back up, I'm gonna just pull all this built up material kind of out of the way before I get into where I pulled up all the concrete. Still recording. Getting a little darker. Let's check the radar. Oh wow. Alright, so that's that's kind of the situation we're in. We're right here. Fortunately, it just kind of broke up a little bit, so it, this may just go ahead and, and pass us. Let's see. We might get lucky. If the bottom falls out, we'll just wait it out. Now the trick at this moment is just not to hit this man's retaining wall. Try to just keep pulling the spoil back to me, and then I'll scoop it up and track it out of here when I get down toward the end of it. I can feel that rise right about where I'm sitting.
Well, on a positive note, the rain has finally stopped. And this hoodie was just making me sweat bullets this morning. But after the rain blew through, the temperature dropped like 15 degrees. So now I'm actually pretty thankful that I brought it. So we're making pretty good progress. I still need to work up there a little bit more. Um, the problem is I'm trying to just not build up too much spoil it in one spot. So I'm basically just sitting here scooping up spoil and um, dumping it out back here in the back. But I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Yeah, I can see the water's like running down this way. Which is good, but it's just not quite, not quite right. Wow, yeah, temperature's changed and now the windows are fogged up. I can't hardly see out of it. Give it a minute to defrost. Gosh, I think it's actually getting worse. Wow, that was not gonna happen anytime soon. I think we're starting to make some headway here. Well, see what we can get to do to get this straightened up and finished up.
Well, that was really a good way to mess up everything I just did. I'm just trying to get this mud mess taken care of because I just don't like the way it looks. All right, well, let's see how we turned out. So the idea here is the water is going to run right down through this area. And we tried, we got the uh, that high spot taken out where the broken concrete was. And then I tried to fill in some low spots there and just kind of drag it all out smooth. So the water will come off the front of the building, hopefully hit our ditch line and then carry right out into that little ditch line over there and take the water on out the back. So overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens when it rains. We appreciate you guys watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next video.